Hi, my name is Justin Bolanino, and the G is silent. I am here today to talk to you about the future of immersive media. Huge shout out to the wonderful folks at Film Interactive. I would much rather be in Poland right now, sharing in the human energy of the moment, meeting amazing new people, seeing the sights, uh, but another Zoom it is. Uh, that's the time that we live in, and I will talk about that. One more thing before I start, and you might have heard this four times now, I really don't know. Uh, but a huge shout out to the women of Poland for standing up to their rights. It is incredibly inspiring to see what you're doing. Keep doing it. And we see you all the way here in America where everything is going great. So over 10 years ago, in around 2008, uh, I started a company called The Meta Agency. And it was a sister company to my other company it was called Learned Evolution. Learned Evolution was more of a straightforward creative agency, while The Meta Agency was a little bit more future thinking. The Meta Agency was a talent representation agency specifically for what we called experienced directors or ex-directors. And the idea was that the humans that create experience are the next form of talent, the next rock stars, if you will, aren't necessarily the guy on stage with the guitar, rather the woman behind the scenes creating the whole experience. And so the Meta Agency and Learned Evolution went on to be acquired in 2014. I got those companies back in 2015. We'll talk about that some other time. And relaunched everything as Meta. And we specialize in the art of being there. In other words, presence or being there is the most valuable asset of our time, whether it's physical presence or whether it's metaphysical presence or whether it's digital presence, the idea of being there is at the heart of everything often. And so that's what we focus on. And so I will play you the meta reel, which is a couple years old, um, but here we go. I hope you, you can hear it. I hope I'm still talking to anybody. Here we go. So that's our reel, uh, and I wanted to uh, play another video of a recent project. So we really want to focus our efforts these days on more impactful uh, experiences that focus on helping lift each other up uh, and um, helping to inspire the next generation to really hone in on what's important and bring it to life. So uh, I was approached about four years ago by a very, uh, very uh, enthusiastic Italian man named Valentino Vittori who had this idea. He basically said, I wanna do what you do at Meta, but I wanna do it around sustainability. And so we developed this idea now called Arcadia Earth for some four years. And Arcadia Earth is a 17 room immersive experience that features 
augmented reality and virtual reality and all these different immersive environments and everything's mixed together, all in the name of sustainability, all in the name of inspiring, educating you to not only bear witness and understand what's going on with our world, but to immediately take action. So we opened Arcadia in September of last year, so a little over a year ago, and it was a huge hit and we were very proud of it. And of course, in March, we had to shut it down along with everything else. We will be back uh, in virtual form and we will be back in, in the IRL form as well. But I wanted to play that video because it's near and dear to my heart. <laughs> So that's the background on me. And now I'm gonna talk about the crux of what I'm here to talk about, the future. Something I honestly don't even really believe exists at all, but I get asked about it all the time. So I'm gonna to speak to it. So we tend to, as a culture, at least here in America, ask these questions that are very either or oriented. Is the future of immersive? Virtual? Is the future augmented? Is the future conscious? Is it the realm of the metaphysical? Is the future sonic? Is the future online, right? We call URL. And specifically and hopefully, is the future IRL in real life? We hope so. <laughs> And so, you know, really at the heart of this idea with the future of, right? The future isn't either or. The future isn't female. The future isn't birth. The future isn't pick one side or the other. The future, as we see it, or I should say the ever present now, is both and. It's not are you left brain? Are you right brain? It's how do you integrate the two sides of your brain together to the greatest effect, right? So the next idea that I wanna share in regards to this is that reality itself is the medium of our generation, right? So if paint was the medium uh, of generations past or celluloid film or even digital technology, we're at a point now, thanks to the speed and size of real-time technology, that reality itself is the actual medium, right? And if you look at all the different realities that I presented on route to here, you'll see uh, that we speak like this. And this isn't just in our industry, but this is how we now speak about media. We talk about virtual reality and augmented reality and in real life and online reality and all these different realities. And then on the other side of it, you have deep fakes, AI, fake news, right? These are all forms of reality. We're talking about different realities, right? So I'm going to talk about our future at Meta, and our future at Meta is called unreality. And unreality is intended to be a social marketplace for the immersive media industry. So let's zoom out a little bit. What do we mean when we say immersive media industry? Well, we created something to help make sense of this. Because I fear, feel like one of the biggest problems in our industry is that we throw around all these words and we talk about XR and AR and VR and IR and IRL and all of the Rs, right? Um, but I've yet to really see anyone sit down and really think through 
a map of the reality that we're talking about. So we've been working on this for years, uh, and this is what we call now the periodic table of reality. So on the left-hand side, you have the metaverse or digital reality. And on the right-hand side, you have the universe, analog reality, right? AR stands right in between. VR, fully immersive digital reality. Then you have URL, which represents all of your online live streaming gaming realities. SR, sonic reality, maybe as fundamental as they get. Uh, I don't know of any reality that doesn't rely upon music to bring it to life. IRL, good old fashioned IRL, remember that? Touching, shaking hands, hugging, live music <laughs> events. I should be in Poland right now. Whoa. Sorry, my bad. That's what we're doing. AR, let's do it again. VR, URL, SR, IRL, and finally, often the most misunderstood, but in my opinion, one of the most important conscious reality, which is everything having to do with metaphysics. This is your realm of spirituality. This is your realm of wellness. This is your realm of meditation. This is your realm of psychedelics. Uh, so vastly important. And so now what connects all of the realities together? What's the most fundamental reality of all the realities? VR, AR, CR, IRL, SR, URL. Well, you are. Awareness, subjectivity, you -ness. You, without you, none of the Rs exist. So at the heart of them all is you are. And so you probably won't be able to read this so well, but you'll be able to find this online very soon. And so this gets into the relationship between all the realities, which I thought I had a slide for, but I guess I don't. So I'll speak to it. So the idea here is, and this is reflected in quantum mechanics and quantum gravity. If you look at the edge of science, right? Science basically is saying the same thing here. It's not the future is any one reality or the other. The future is the relationship between the realities, the relationship between objects in quantum physics uh, is what, what reality is. Reality is an event that's happening in real time. It's not objects moving around in time and space. And so when we set out to build on reality, we wanted to make sure that first we had indexed the realities and that everything made sense. And anyone within the immersive media industry can look at this map that we've created and go, oh, look, there's me. Um, and hopefully we've done so here and hopefully you're pointing at this and going, oh, look, there's me. Whether you're on the universe side or on the metaverse side, everything is connected, right? This is not linear. It's not a spectrum. It's an interconnected Venn diagram where at the heart of it is you. And I will now get into putting this into place. So what you're seeing now, and you guys are really the first ever public audience to see any of this stuff. So it's very exciting and slightly nerve wracking. So bear with me. So this is going to be our logged out homepage. And you can see that we're powering the immersive revolution. And you can read that as re-evolution if you really want to. And so the idea is that imagination realized. In other words, uh, our verb, our action item is the process of realization, right? So if you go to Twitter to tweet and you go to Pinterest to pin and you go to Instagram to post on unreality, you realize. It's where you go to take your imagination and make it real. So unreality's global professional network connects diverse, immersive creatives, producers, and technologists to jobs, tools, projects, and each other. This means this isn't just a creator platform or creative platform. Of course, we're going to have all the creatives in the most media industry. But this is it. 
this is an industry workforce platform. In other words, we want everyone above the line, below the line, on the line, around the line, all the different humans it takes to make what we do look easy will have a home on, on reality. And so there are three main functions to the platform. The first is talent discovery. Quickly build your team for a virtualized world. How do you find someone that can write in notch and roll up and projection map with Mad Mapper or pick a, pick a software? Well, it's very, very, very hard to find these people. And you're not going to find them necessarily on LinkedIn. You're not going to find them on more uh, IRL event-based platforms. You're going to find them on, on reality because we have created this lexicon and we have created this index that will allow you to very quickly find the talent that you are looking for. Second function is showcasing projects. So like, uh, like most platforms, we have a portfolio uh, of our speaking of work. I'll show you that in just a second. But what's really unique, and I think uh, our special sauce about our project function is that we have wrapped projects, projects we've done in the past, but also ongoing projects. So the idea is you will be able to, in real time, socialize and share your project as it goes. We all love storytelling. We all love stories. Every platform has some form of stories, but there isn't really a platform that allows you to see the development of a project as it goes in a social setting. Uh, so we've been very hard at work developing that, uh, and we think you're really going to like it. And then finally, last but certainly not least, and really kind of the engine of this whole thing is finding jobs. Uh, we have a vast amount of relationships that go very far back that will allow both sides of the marketplace, those looking to hire and those looking to get hired, find each other very efficiently uh, and very quickly. So here's the product. This is your dashboard. So when you log in, this is the first thing that you see. So on the left there, you see talent projects jobs. That's the triad. And on the right, you see your real-time feed. So any project or talent that I am following, I will be able to see here in my feed. And so we imagine uh, a beautiful world of iterative creativity happening within the immersive media space uh, that you'll be able to see in real time, uh, just like on more social platforms. So we're kind of combining this element of the, of the real-time feed with creativity and project iteration. And this is what it looks like. And here's now your project visual. Sorry, it's a little, a little down there, at least for me. Um, but you'll be able to see, all, of course, all your projects past. And so now here's a look at a project happening in real time. So there on the left, you can see your activity feed. Again, this is the, the real-time uh, mechanism that will allow you to see what's happening on this project. If you don't want the public to see your project, no worries whatsoever, you can have it private. Um, and we're creating really fast, easy ways to get your content up on there really quickly. Um, and on the right side there, you see this is now when you click on the team tab you can see all the different collaborators uh, on the project. And so, you know, really at the heart of this thing that we're building is the IMDB for immersive media. We have always as a company. In fact, that's really what we have stood on since day one uh, is celebrating the artists, white labeling talent, white labeling creators, white, white labeling technologists and engineers is really bad business. Well, maybe it's good business, but it, in the long run, it's bad business uh, because those people deserve to be credited. Those people deserve to be honored, if not celebrated for their work. So ultimately, past projects, we're going to very enthusiastically ask you to make sure that you are citing all the different folks that worked on your project with you and that you have the ability to invite them 
and claim their credits uh, and say, yes, I did work on that project. And also, as we go, more advanced features to highlight who did what on any given project. If there's anything that's of value to us, it is the idea of crediting everyone. Next slide. So you can see you can also follow a project, right? Uh, and on the right, you can see there are some new project posts. Uh, what it looks like to post a new project. Everything is really big and really simple and really intuitive and hopefully really fast. Um, and uh, you should really enjoy the process of using this platform. And last but not least, uh, at least for now, is our jobs board. So this is what uh, our jobs board look like. You can see location search there. You can see all the different information, keyword search, of course. You can very easily and quickly post a job and see posted jobs. Uh, here's a little peek at the mobile interface. So you can see there what it's gonna look like on mobile. Uh, first on the left, you have your portfolio and then projects in the middle and jobs on the right-hand side. So dates. Around December 1st, we are going to very slowly and surely start opening Unreality up to you guys. If you're watching this stream, you can sign up right now at unreality.is. Be sure to check us out on Instagram. We've been curating uh, for a couple of years now um, some of the best and brightest from the immersive media industry. Um, but if you sign up now, you're going to be in on the early private beta. We're probably going public maybe in January. We'll see how it goes. But if you want to see this thing, if you want to touch this thing, if you want to be a part of what's going to be the coolest uh, and the most engaged uh, and impactful community when it comes to immersive media, sign up now and you will be in our private beta. And you can hold me accountable for that. And thank you. That's the end of my presentation. Again, my name is Justin Bolomino. Uh, you can find me personally at uh, on Instagram and Twitter and Medium. That's the Medium logo now. I think it's about the third time they've changed it in the last four weeks. Uh, but that's Medium. Uh, and that's my handle, Jay Bolomino. The G is silent. And that's me.